Welcome, welcome everyone to episode 10 of Apollo for Dummies and what the F just happened. So Bitcoin's dropped another $400 per coin or so today. The last I looked, and I don't even want to look again, but the last I looked at it was at like 3700 Wow. Um, yeah, I don't think this is the end of this. Uh, pretty, pretty much thinking that I'm witnessing my first major depression of crypto coins. Um, I guess the good news is, is yesterday's episode, episode nine, I mentioned to you guys that I didn't think that people would be selling their coins at 17 Satoshis. And it looks like so far I'm right. Uh, there were 42,000 coins sold earlier today at 17 Satoshis. And then, oh, wow, it really did drop down there today. I didn't even see this. So I worked my normal job today and I was busy during this part. I did not see that it dropped down that far. Oh my goodness. Well, luckily uh, we got a nice little green wall here at 17. What is this? 4.1 million coins for purchase. And oh my Lord, there's 2 million sell wall at 18. Oh my God. So we're down 5.2% on the day. What is our volume? Our volume is red, but it's 37.45 million coins. Man, this is just not fun. Um, it really did go, it did drop pretty far. Um, luckily, it did rebound a bit. We even had some purchases at 19, but this, man, these freaking cell walls are ridiculous. Look at this, 2 million, 6 million, 10 million, 10 million, 8.1 million, 3.8 million. Oh my God. Who's doing this? I guess everyone, jeez. So I have not sold any coins and I don't plan to. I'm probably gonna be buying some coins on Monday. Actually, I'm not even going to say probably. I will definitely be buying some coins on Monday. So if you guys want to join me on a nice little market attack on Monday, uh, drop uh, some uh, info in the comments on the YouTube if you are listening to us on YouTube. We skipped a whole bunch of introductions because this episode is overwhelmed by price fluctuation. Um, okay, so let me backtrack. Welcome to... Apollo for Dummies episode 10. It is November 24th and uh, we have to thank our new subscribers from yesterday to today. Make sure you're also, if you are a sub, make, make sure you're also following on Twitter at Apollo for Dummies so you can enter to win the Apollo coin for our giveaway. Um, so yeah, thanks to the subscribers. Uh, we're going to be doing an episode soon, guys, where it will not be on YouTube. It is going to be a Podbean, Spotify, iTunes app only episode. So make sure you check the links down below and subscribe to those platforms because you're going to want to do that so you know when we put out another episode that is not on YouTube. Every now and then we're going to do this to kind of promote uh, those other platforms. Um, make sure you are following Apollo Currency on Facebook. Down below is the link for that, and then there's a link for Discord if you want to join our Discord group. Speaking of buying on Monday and Discord, join the Discord group link down below because you can help us buy coins all at the same time, which gives us a nice little push in price. It is not a pump and dump. Okay, hold on. Let me take a drink of my, my Crown & Coke because cause let me tell you, looking at this is crazy. Uh, so yeah, Monday, Hermes 1.0 releases out of, it's a two-part release. It's the first part of the release. Sorry, I'm banging on the table. I should stop doing that. Guys, great news. Great, great news. I know that the market's down, but I'm getting a new microphone. That's right. It should be in in a couple of days. So no more iPhone 10 microphone. It's going to be nice. It's going to be a Blue Yeti. So uh, thumbs up for that. Also, Anyone that might be chilling down below in the in the comments with just negativity and talks of scam, just go away. 
I mean, you can stay here if you want because you're just bringing more views to my channel. But, like, you're wasting your time being here. And, and I'm talking for the YouTube platform right now, specifically. Go away. Why are you here? You're wasting your life. Like, if you're a fan of, of XRP or, you know, any other coin, go watch videos about them. If you do want to check out stuff about Apollo, then watch it, but don't leave hate mail down below. If you got burned by Apollo, that's only because you sold Apollo coins. You never lose money unless you sell. Does that make sense? So yes, I bought Apollo coins at 25 Satoshis the other day, but guess what? I didn't lose a damn penny because I didn't sell any of them. I still own them and I'm gonna own them when they're worth more than 25 Satoshis. Another midway drink break, one second. <sighs> Delicious. So also really soon for the YouTube uh, platform people, I also have a nice webcam coming so you can see my facial expressions while we do this fun stuff. So yes, look forward to great, great things. But uh, yeah, so we're looking at the, the market here. Here's my advice. Don't do anything because these cell walls are out of control. Out of control. We need big investors immediately. Otherwise, we're going to be right around here. <laughs> I can't believe that's a fact, but well, I guess I shouldn't say it's a fact. But when I say here, for those of you not on YouTube, I'm looking at the 11 Satoshi mark, which is 4% of a penny, which is not good. We do not want to get down there. But our buy walls and our sell walls are not evenly matched. The red is outweighing the green. So Monday, Hermes release part one. Everyone needs to get together because it will be time to purchase and hold. That's right. Purchase and hold. As a group, we can do it together. It's going to be really exciting to see how this unfolds because Hermes, this two-second uh, transfer time is going to be bar none, right? It'll be the fastest in the uh, crypto sphere. What else? Um, looks like we're now down 10.5%. If you weaklings up here in the red area want to continue to sell, by all means. That just means I'm getting a better discount come Monday. Speaking of discounts and getting rich, hold on. I need to take a drink of my crown. 2008. We're going to go back. 2008. This song was made famous in 2008. Yeah, that's right. 2008, that happened. But speaking of 2008, Bitcoin happened, right? Uh, how much was it worth? Damn near nothing. Uh, remember that. And, and also, what else happened in 2008? I believe a bailout for some companies that were about to go bankrupt that are now doing very well for themselves. What else happened? The, the housing market crashed. Pretty sure that every rich, rich, rich individual right now that is in real estate bought a bunch of stuff in 2008. So those are just examples of why you shouldn't overreact in times like this because you don't make money when you sell a losing coin. You wait for the rebound and you capitalize. All right, enough about that. Let's get into the questions and comments from yesterday's video. By the way, thank you for 151 views in 24 hours. Very well done. Let's see if we can beat 30 likes though. Can we beat it? Can we beat it? All right. So Tetra Dragon, Apollo for the win. Dodie Dale, Apollo, the Swiss army knife of crypto. Cheers. I love that analogy. Colin A, go figure. Someone named XRP posting a negative, negative comment. Yeah, we got a lot of ne negative comments from the XRP individual in yesterday's video. Apollo, you're awesome. Says Mark I. Stephen Job disagreed with me about something. Let's see. Respectfully, I don't see how it makes sense that Apollo would hold its value 
or go up when expressed in terms of BTC. If BTC goes down, as we have seen, it's more than likely that Apollo will go down too. Yes, you are correct, more than likely. But I think I just, in those past videos, was just discussing how I have seen on multiple occasions a trend where we go up when Bitcoin goes down. Uh, not when it goes down by 10%, though, like it has been. So that's just a little different there. XRP, I'm not even going to uh, go into you um, and the 18 replies. So if you guys want to read these, he basically is just talking about how Apollo is a scam. So check that out. Reply as you wish. So thank you guys for commenting on the YouTube. I very much appreciate it. For those of you who are not on YouTube and cannot see what I'm looking at, I try to best explain what we're looking at as we go. Um, I think that about wraps it up for tonight. I hope you guys like the new feel of the channel, of the podcast. Um, it's time for me to go play some Red Dead Redemption and drink some more Crown because you have to find what suits you in times of crisis. What suits me right now is some Xbox fun. Um, and if you want to watch me play some Xbox games, you can check me out on uh, twitch.tv slash exoticmtg. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Same bat time, same bat channel. And as always, let's take a blast.